you know guys this is a video to show you how you can use uh, the open broadcast a software studio on your live feed so you have a better quality and also you'll be able to add uh, if it's maybe for church you can add logos you can add addresses you can add you can add anything that you can that you you, you want to broadcast think of it like you are broadcasting from a, 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 from an, um, a commercial software okay so the first thing that we do now is um, we install OBS Studio, so I already installed mine, so I'll just show you how you can actually get the OBS Studio. So you come here and then you just type on your browser, OBS download, so here it is, so you can just click on here, and then uh, you wait for it, and then can you see here where it says open broadcaster software, you just click on it, this is a free software, so um, it will be, it's, it's totally for free, so here it's yeah, it's windows uh mac for apple and then for line so if depending now with the operating operating system that you'll be using you just click on windows and then from there it will tell you it will sort of like show you how to uh, install okay so i'm not going to do this because i've already installed on my computer okay so now let's go back now to what we want to do so the first thing that you do now is you create the video so i'll go and open my obs and it will be looking like this okay then from there now you create a scene so if you come here where it says scenes here yeah, you say plus so let's call our scene test and then you say okay and then you click on test and then this is our scene now so for you to, to add things now you go to sources and then you click your plus so obviously the first thing that you want to add is our video so you say video capture here video capture device and then you say okay and then from here now we'll be having uh, options on which cameras depending now with how many cameras are connected to your um to your computer so with, with my computer i'll use the one the inbuilt one obviously it will be having low quality but if you've got um, another high quality or high definition uh, webcam you can just connect and then it will come here as an option so i'll come it webcam and then can you see that the video feed is already coming okay so i'll press okay and then you can actually okay so here i can um, enlarge it and then i can also adjust it so that it will fit depending now with your video source okay so um, it's all adjusted now and then when you play so this side now is where you'll be doing your design now uh, uh, on and then on this side now this is what will be shown so if you, i say transition now this is what will be shown okay let me just go back here this is what will be shown now on your live feed okay so you design on the side and then this will be what you do what you'll be seeing so you can actually design and then while you are already doing the broadcast and then it will show this when you say transition only okay so this is the video feed let's add some things so if you go to plus here it will give you options so we can add text maybe you want to add a verse or the theme of what you'll be preaching uh, on on that day or maybe you want to put on on a begging details on the screen okay so here you can add text so let's just say today today so this is our text today and then you can also change the font the fonts depending on what you 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 depending with your test obviously so you've got different types of fonts so i'm not going to change the maybe i'll just put italics and then i'll change the font maybe to 100 to 100 okay and then i'll place i'll press okay then you can also change the color of the font if you go down there are a lot of options that you can actually uh, um, use to play around with your with your um, with your text so i'll say color i'll just choose uh, blue i'll just choose my favorite color blue so here i'll click on blue and then i say okay to exit okay, so you can see that here so with this one you can actually play around the position way it's where you be needing it and then you just click here and then when one you say transition it will be can you see that it's now here so it's not part of the broadcast now okay and then let's also add the logo maybe you want to add the, the church logo so you come here and then you say image so this is uh, we we are assuming that you already have your logo uh as a maybe uh, uh, as a picture or already saved in your computer okay so you come here now and you press okay 
then you browse for the logo i'll just use any picture so let me just see if i've got any picture here okay i'll just check this picture this png file okay so okay so it's here you can also resize it also you can position it any way you want on this video so i'll I'll, I'll put it here okay and then can you see that on the side it's not yet there but once i press transition it will be on the side now so you can add a lot of things can you see that you can add uh, text uh, scenes as well media source images etc 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 so for this for this video i'll just leave it like that and then i'll make i'll also make another video uh, on how to like showing all the features that you are there on obs uh, so just click on subscribe so that you'll be able to see that um video as well okay so from here now uh, you lock the preview so that even if you, you won't make a mistake now of clicking away or making changes that you don't want to to change okay so here we are done now we go to facebook so i'll go to facebook now on my browser okay and i'll go here for live streaming let's hope don't our network will not, not be jealous okay and then a live feed live video live video okay usually if the network is a bit slow it will give you problems but let's hope and pray that you won't have problems here okay Okay, fingers crossed that you want the network will not disappoint us. Okay, let's wait for each coming up. okay so if you see here where it says uh, live video setup now we want to use an um, obs so you click on use uh, stream key and then from here now you go down then where it says stream key and then you press on copy so it means now after copying you have to go back to obs and you go to settings we have to copy this uh, stream keys that will be able to copy so here you go to stream and then you remove this key that is there now okay let's let's see i think i didn't stop screaming okay yeah it's still okay so you are stop first and then i go to settings okay it should give you should be able now to get edited okay it's still stopping let's hope wait for this one to finish Okay, just a couple of minutes because our I was doing a streaming a while ago so okay now let's go to settings okay you should be able now to change okay so now we delete this so this was the key key that I was using before every time that you want to create a video it will give you a new key so yeah now you go down there and then you press on apply so apply there and then after that okay and then from there now when you can you see that here on facebook it's, like, it's saying waiting for live video and then now when you press um start streaming it should now export that video now to the facebook okay so can you see now it's saying connecting live video so let me just cancel this one and then see if our video is coming up it shouldn't take much time now it all depends now with your network or also your processor speed my processor is a core i3 sometimes it goes up sometimes it gives me problems so can you see now my video feed is already here so when you want to go live now you just come here then you say go live and then now you are initializing you just wait for it we are almost done
This is no network now. Okay, it should be starting now. Okay, so our video is started now. It's connecting now, so it's here now live. And then if you just press here, it should it should start playing. Okay, so it all depends now with your your computer. This one now I'm using a small computer with a smaller RAM, so it will give me problems. But if you put a bigger um, RAM or a bigger processor, usually the Core i5 is the one that is the best for uh, OBS uh, live streaming. Okay, so this is how to use OBS for live um, videos on Facebook. Okay, so just click on subscribe um, so that you'll be able to see our future videos. Okay, bye for now.